his store was Marathon. Correct. And, and, and Marathon was on Slauson and Crenshaw. Correct. Was, but I mean, it, you can't call it a community store. The cheapest thing I think he had there was some socks and it was $25. You ain't no regular nigga could go in there and shop, right? But now Marathon is caged up. It's, it's, it's white America and took it and Marathon is in New York and Manhattan. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Let me ask you this, because this is something you, and I know you were around. When Nipsey Hussle passed away, I was, I've heard that all gangs stopped gang violence and came together just for a cause for a night, just basically stopped all gang violence. Is that true? Yeah. I'm asking. I don't know. Like, did everything stop? You hear these stories, I mean, you know? it couldn't have stopped because you just hear a murder on the news uh, the, the, the next couple of days. Yeah, so it didn't It didn't you know? stop or it didn't, and that didn't section, change anything. It didn't change nothing. I mean, it, 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 was, it was an anomaly then, and it's back to business. You know? it was. It's, all of this stuff is good for a day. You know, Pyru didn't participate because we're not from L.A., you know, and you had the looky lose of some blood gangs coming in and the Nation of Islam did some escorting. And it was a beautiful day. But the next day it was back to business. And changed nothing. I, I, we're just talking about it. Not too, his store was Marathon. Correct. And, and, and Marathon was on Slauson and, and Crenshaw. Correct. Was, but I mean, it, you can't call it a community store. The cheapest thing I think he had there was some socks and it was $25. You ain't no regular nigga could go in there and shop, right? But now Marathon is caged up. It's, it's, it's white America and took it and Marathon is in New York and Manhattan. Oh, they moved it to Manhattan. And it ain't in Cali no more. Wow. You know, so they took the legend and used it and marketed it, and psh, 60s didn't get nothing out of it. Blacks did. I don't see nobody profiting from what happened with Nipsey. They come by and take pictures and this and that. But the legend didn't live on, not in Cali. So they found it was a better brand to take it to New York. And we allowed, they allowed it to happen. I ain't we, because I'm from Bompton. Correct, <laughs> yeah, being from Bompton, and, 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 but still, that was an impactful thing. I remember seeing like YG the artist. A lot of those guys was affected by that because they had music with. They had personal relationships mm -hmm. with Nipsey. First you get the money, the respect, and the power in the halls come next. Last time that I checked, I've been. I mean, it didn't affect them that because they, they they kept making music. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. It, it definitely. like, you know, it, it's just like at a funeral. You can love me as long as you're not going to jump in the box with me. Yeah. That shit, it, I was telling this girl, she was talking about, well, you know, if you get married, it's till death do you part. The prime word is till death do you part. Once the, de once the marriage is dead, I'm out of here. And it don't have to be you physically dead, mentally, morally, or spiritually, when we die, we separate. That's the, that's the creed, right? For better or worse, when it get worse, I'm out. That's a probation. And when it dies, I'm out. So the same thing that people will mourn and look at that. Uh, before Nipsey died, I don't think he sold one record that would, would, went platinum. No. You know? We commemorate people after they did. While they alive, man, like I said, I, I never, never knew anything about the the dynamics of of Kendrick growing up and, and watching him, and then like, bam, now he's bigger than life, and he just slipped right through. But when, and let's talk about that for a second. Kendrick, you seen him as a kid growing up, yeah, and you would see him, and he's just a regular kid. Just a regular dude. Regular dude, just walking around the block. Didn't have no, wasn't no stardom at this point. You know, you see, I done seen guys, you know, you see them rapping, you see them do it, writing beats and this and that. Pac was great. This, this guy kept a pen, a paper, and a dictionary 24-7. If he wasn't on the set doing something, he was sitting down writing. He was reading, you know. He was honing his craft. So you see a lot of lot of dudes that they they come up. I never seen Kendrick rapping. Now you may be sitting only two or three shots. I'ma show you how to turn it up a notch. 
Never seen him. Rap. Never seen him with no pads, no headphones on, doing his thing. Until I, bam, when he popped up, like, oh shit, I missed that one, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, he basically blew up and 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 you know, like bigger than anything that you can think of, but. You know, and stayed humble, and stayed very humble. You don't see, you don't see him with jewelry. Have a T-shirt on, some jeans. Got a modest house. His his, his uh, uh, sister had a baby, and he bought her a Camry. And why in the hell he didn't buy no Lamborghini? She ain't worth no Lamborghini. She got a new car. <laughs> wow. You feel what I'm saying? So those are the type of things that you like. That's because I got money. Don't mean I'm gonna just fuck it off with you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I think that's that, that you got to be respectful of the fact when, when somebody come up, you know, you can't expect them to just, you know, not I, hold you accountable. Like a lot of people think they shouldn't be held accountable. Buy me a house. You ain't been had a house. Put you in a tent like you've been living in one. You know. So yeah, it's a, it's it's a it's a difference. And like uh, with that. Uh, we missed the shot a, a lot of times. We're so involved in being bitter with each other instead of embracing, no matter what our differences is, you know, we have a common enemy. Yeah. A until we recognize who our common enemy is and it ain't us. You know, uh, if you come down the neighborhood, man, who is that nigga? Where he from? But if a little Mexican police come up four foot eleven, you jump up and run. Mm -hmm. Gangsters don't do that. We are at all costs, whoever you are, you know. No, I, I, that's that's the one thing I do say about like, like when you look at all the, you got a lot of different guys who, basically, when we see the down here on, you know, in the south, we see when we think of gangs, we really. I, I pretty much equated it to the music when, when you know when, when when I first would see like the game or if I seen like any of those guys like the Nipsey Hustles or or YG you you got your your understanding of what who was moving with who through the celebrity of it you didn't see the guys in the streets you only seen where the where the where the cameras and stuff was showing this at and they would have certain people in there and really you don't know if them people they just propped in there or what. These people might not even be from California. Right, right. They may just be on the set with them and they put a red rag in their hand. We don't know. But in your mind, you think, oh, yeah, he the, 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 he the real the deal. I mean, the think that's, about that's it. Like, we, that's the only thing you have to go yeah. by. So then you might have one, then another celebrity meet another one down here, and then all of a sudden, oh, yeah, he won too. He with him. Right. You know, right. that's how you, you really factored it in. That's you know? just like you said about colors. I've never seen the movie. You never seen colors? I, I was in prison. When he came out, and I've had other shit to do, so I don't just sit down and watch watch movies just to see. I lived it. I don't watch scary movies. I live scary shit every day. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.